Up for sale, I got a 1969 Mustang finished in silver jade with black interior, black vinyl top. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. Like I said, 69 Mustang convertible finished in silver jade, which really doesn't look like a Mustang color at all, but it is. And it's, it's a really pretty color, too. Uh, black interior, bucket seats, automatic. 351 Cleveland, a little more performance build on the motor. I will pop the engine compartment open soon. Um, these Kregers that are a 10 out of 10, they're beautiful. They look great. All four of them are in are perfect condition. Um, look great on the car. Not too many flaws, though. A couple of chips here and there. Like, like you see a little tiny guy, another little tiny guy. They owned it. The previous owners owned it for 31 years. Chrome bumper is pretty nice in the front, actually. I know you see it's just starting to mist a little bit. I know I, I got bad luck lately. Uh, but other than that, there's no pitting. All the trim pretty much on the car is nice. A uh, little mark. Actually, nope, that's rubbing off with my finger. So, scratch that. A little chip right on the nose. But I will pop the hood now and let you guys see the compartment. So, it is a 351 Cleveland. It's definitely built with performance in mind. It moves. Um, aluminum intake. Double pumper carburetor. I see an Excel coil there, a little more high performance item. It's an upgraded C6 automatic transmission. With a shift kit, you see the trans cooler down there. Uh, other than that, nice clean compartment. Nice painted underhood to match the car. I know sometimes people will skimp out on that. Um, so I'll leave it open as I go around the car. I got tons of paperwork for the car, lots of receipts dating throughout the ownership from 89 to 31 years, like I said. The only thing that jumps out at me is this door is a little bit out of alignment here. It needs to come down in the front and the back right here, which sticks out a little bit, will go in. So here I had it open actually. You see it there. It sticks out a little bit. If you move that forward, that's going to slide right in. Little tiny chip right there. But as far as chrome like this, trim around the window, the wipers are nice. There's the original Vintag. Um, dash pad, no cracks. Nice dash pad. Uh, all the lights work except one headlight. The wipers work. All the gauges work. The horn does not work. So it's nice to see a car that's all electrically, electronically together. Both front uh, panel lights work. Nice painted door jam. It was actually the wife's car, funny enough. So she might have, excuse me, she must have liked to move a little bit on the quicker side. Sounds great with the dual exhaust. Uh, I have the Marty report for it as well. Both bucket seats are in really nice condition. You know, it, it doesn't look like a 31 year, they did it one time and they left it. They look like they've maintained certain things throughout time. Maybe they replaced the bucket seats. I mean, this doesn't look like 31-year-old paint, if you ask me. Really, it doesn't. I mean, so they might have, they, they de they've definitely done certain things. The underneath is really nice. I got pictures of it on the ad. I will show you when, when I get to that point, or, or if you're on the ad, check it out. Um, so you can see that nice, solid, clean, nicely detailed, too. Um, nice gauges, nice wood grain steering wheel. Nice carpet. New black vinyl top and new parade boots. Back seat's nice too. So, I mean, if you were to realign the door, that's the only thing it really needs. A couple of touch ups right on that door line. Another one on this little uh, lip. And then a couple little jobbies. I know you kind of see them sticking out. A couple little jobbies here. Um, again, excellent Kreger wheel. Looks amazing. The quality of the wheel is very nice. But here, I'm going to snap and put it up. So, yep. Tops up. As you can see, new top. No rips on it. No nothing. But I'm noticing right here, 
it's missing that piece of trim that seals this. So this is something that's needed. I'm just noticing that now. The back window is the two-piece rear glass with the seam so it folds down nicely into the into that top compartment. A few miscellaneous chips right there. Now let me get the key actually and I'll pop the trunk. He's on my desk. Real nice finished trunk. A little Mustang magazine. You got the mat. You got the bag that matches the mat that houses your jacket and your tire iron and stuff like that. Original spare with a little cool fills with air. You pump up the tire with that. Real nice. Underneath the trunk is nice like it is. There's a mat down there where the gas tank is. So the trunk compartment's real nice. You see where the top folds down to. And uh, trunk and that seams are nice as well as the underhood. You see a little factory stamping right there. So. Rear bumper's pretty nice. Just a couple little marks on it. Right, right there, and a couple little look like scratches or maybe pulling something out of the trunk over time. And there's a touch up right there. You know, if you mess up where the gas goes in, it'll eat away at the paint. So there's a little touch up down there. A couple more right there. But the trunk fitment is nice. Two little touch of, uh, chips right there. A couple more down there. Pretty straight body actually. Nice trim here. See this door fits nicely. And you see here that piece of trim that I'm missing that uh, aligns the two. So we'll go ahead and open this door up. Again, dash is nice. Not too much I can go over. Again, nice bucket seat. Again, if I didn't mention it, no rips on the bucket seat. And I threw the, the boot in the back here. So I'm sorry that that's just kind of tossed in. I'm gonna end up putting that back in the trunk. Like I said, 69 Mustang convertible, silver jade, black interior, black top. 351 Cleveland C6 automatic transmission shift kit slightly built trans cooler I will fire it up here in a few minutes and I'm just looking if anything else jumps out of me couple miscellaneous chips down there from that rear wheel well and it looks like a little indent right there So if you have any questions, let us know. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here's the 351 Cleveland. We're going to fire it up right now when he sees my, my thumbs up. Got a little bit of a cam to it, too.